Hey guys, welcome to another Cooking with Kitsies. So we're making something that I'm really kind of excited about because I love Oreos. Oreo Mallow Bars. I will link where I saw the initial recipe below in the description box. You don't have to cook anything, it's a no-bake recipe and apparently it's supposed to be able to do it in 15 minutes. So we will see. Yeah, I don't have a food processor, so it's gonna take longer. You will need some Oreos. If you're in America, I think you can buy just a big pack. You know the pack which has the tab on? I think just one pack of those is enough, but we don't have those here. So I've got two packs of these. I don't know if that's too much. I don't know if it's not enough. Some marshmallows. I bought some heart-shaped ones, because I'm fancy. And also because they were the only ones I could find. But look how cute they look on the cupcake. And you also need a bit of butter. I still use a dairy-free version. So I use soya, it's like a margarine rather than butter. First step is open the Oreos. Oreos, 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 Oreos. All of my Oreos are in the bowl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this bowl on there and just squash to get the squashing started. I can see all the cream oozing out of the Oreo cookies. Look at the Oreos. Dead Oreos. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. Now I have my big bowl of crumbled Oreos. If you want it more crumbled, then yeah, use a food processor, but I kind of like big chunks. Big chunks. The next step is to get your marshmallows and a bowl. It's almost a shame to kill it. You have your bowl of marshmallows, then get your butter or margarine or whatever. I have no idea how much of this to use, so I'm going to use one spoonful like that. I'm putting two in. Two and a half spoons like that. I'm going to put this in the microwave now and I will tell you how long for afterwards because I'm not sure right now. They've been in for about a minute now, I think. It's this kind of consistency with the marshmallows and I think this is what we want. I think that's ready. So they were in the microwave for about a minute on full power. I'm gonna put the marshmallows into the bowl of Oreos and then transfer it to a pan. Like this little bit of cobwebby, which is really cool and spooky. You know how I like my spooky stuff. I'm gonna transfer it to this pan now, and I love these silicone pans and trays and things because you don't need to line them with anything. Now you just leave it to set for 10 minutes and then you're good to go. I'll put in photos of the finished product right here. Let me know if you try this recipe. If you have a moment and you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below and subscribe. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Links are below in the info box. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. See ya!